time to get started on researching an organization and I'm so happy to start this with you. I'm joined by Rose, the mama of our whole litter of kittens who are here in the nursery right now. And I'm going to be modeling for you how to research a little bit with paws and then you'll be choosing an organization that you are interested in out of the ones I've selected for now to practice some of your research skills. So in the future, you might actually be ready to choose your own organization. But for today, we're just gonna model and practice with some organizations I'm gonna give you resource options of. So come along with me. Welcome to online learning. If you've watched our first little intro video, then you know that we are going to be practicing researching for our future decision on organizations. Today, we're just going to be practicing with your choice of one of the organizations that is linked here. So I'm giving you three websites you can choose from. You'll choose one to practice with, and I'm going to go ahead and model what you're going to do with the pause website. So in Seesaw, you're going to open up and see your directions. You'll see your three choices of websites, and you'll choose one of these to practice with. You're going to be looking for six things. The first one is just the name of the organization. The second is the website address. The third is deciding if it is local, so it's in Bangkok or somewhere else in Thailand, or global. Is it connected to a global organization? Um, what purpose or goal does the organization claim? So does it say it has a goal of doing something in the community or does it have a purpose? Your source down here is here in case you don't find all your information in the website. Maybe you have to go to another website or it links you somewhere else. Then you would cite that source there. You'll also need to include a picture of the logo so that you can keep track of this being the organization you're talking about. So let's go ahead and practice. I'm gonna go into full screen mode so we can practice this more clearly. This is the pause website and I notice here's their logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen capture part of this. And when I'm on a MacBook, I can press command shift four and it allows me to drag and saves a picture to my desktop. I'm noticing the name of this organization is capital P, capital A, capital W, capital S space Bangkok. So that tells me this is a local community focused on Bangkok. So I've already answered three of my things. Now on a website, and I know pause is on Facebook, but this is how they use their website. There's usually an about section or an about tab located somewhere on the website. For us, it is a tab and a section. So for now, I'm gonna be looking for their purpose or their goal and what they say that is. So I'm gonna click see more and I'm gonna read that they were created by a former SCAD volunteer. So that might be something I need to say, maybe they are connected internationally. They provide spay, neuter, and veterinary health services for stray or community animals, adoption programs, as well as responsible pet ownership education in Bangkok. Ooh, that sounds like what they do. That sounds like their purpose. It's what they're doing, how they're helping. So I'm gonna copy that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my activity. I'm going to click on my purpose and in your seesaw, you'll need to create a label and I'll be able to type the name pause Bangkok, exactly how they wrote it. I'll go to the website and I'm going to copy and paste. And since I didn't have to go to another source, I'm going to just copy and paste the website again to show I didn't have to go to another source. I'm gonna say they're local to Bangkok, um, but might be connected to SCAD. And I'm gonna put a question mark because that's signaling to me I need to do some more research. In Seesaw, I'll click the camera icon and I will upload my logo. You can see it hanging out on my desktop here. And then I would paste it here and I'd be done. So for you, choose one of the three that are listed here to practice with. This is not your forever organization. It's just to practice some basic layout of different organization websites. 